Hi friends, good day. Today, let us try to understand about elasticity of demand. What are the types of elasticity of demand? Determinants of elasticity of demand through this video. According to Sam Altman, it is much more important to work on the right thing than it is to work many hours. Most people waste most of the time on stuff that doesn't matter. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. What is elasticity of demand? The elasticity of demand or the demand elasticity is the one in which there is a substantial change in the quantity demanded when another economic factor change such as price. As per the elasticity of demand definition, the demand contracts or extends with raise or fall in the prices. Simply, the relative change in the demand for a commodity as a result of a relative change in its price is called as the elasticity of demand. The name elastic demand comes from the way economists think about demand for that good or service. It stretches easily and a slight change in the price results in massive changes in demand. Demand for the product is said to be elastic if a small change in the price causes consumers to demand more or less of the good or service. Demand for a good is inelastic if a small change in the price causes consumers to make no change or almost no change in the quantity of the product or services demanded. Examples of elastic goods include luxury items, certain food and beverages, etc. The elasticity of demand tells you how much the amount bought decreases when the price increases. The elasticity of demand is calculated by dividing the percentage change in the quantity demanded by the percentage change in the economic variable. What are the types of elasticity of demand? Number 1. Price elasticity of demand Price elasticity of demand, commonly known as elasticity of demand, refers to the responsiveness and sensitiveness of demand from the product to the change in its price. The price elasticity of demand is equal to, EP is equal to, proportionate change in quantity demanded by proportionate change in price. Numerically, EP is equal to delta Q divided by delta P into P by Q. Whereas, Delta Q is equal to Q1 minus Q0. Delta P is equal to P1 minus P0. Q1 is new quantity. Q2 is original quantity. P1 is new price. P0 is original price. The following are the main types of price elasticity of demand. Perfectly elastic demand. Perfectly inelastic demand. Relatively elastic demand. Relatively inelastic demand. Unitary elastic demand. Number 2. Income elasticity of demand. The income is the other factor which influences the demand of the product. The degree of responsiveness of a change in demand due to the change in the income is known as income elasticity of demand. The formula to calculate the income elasticity of demand is EY is equal to percentage change in demand for a product divided by percentage change in the income. For most of the goods, the income elasticity of demand is more than one, which indicates that with a change in the income, the demand also changes and that too in the same direction, which means more income means more demand and vice versa, that is less income means less demand. Number 3. Cross elasticity of demand. The cross elasticity of demand refers to the change in the quantity demanded for one product as a result of the change in the price of another product. We see this type of elasticity generally in interrelated goods such as substitutes and complementary goods. The cross elasticity of demand for goods X and Y can be expressed as AC is equal to proportionate change in purchase of commodity X divided by proportionate change in the price of commodity Y. The two commodities are called complementary. When the price of one commodity falls, 
then the demand for the other commodity increases and vice versa. That is, if the price of the commodity increases, then the demand for the other commodity decreases. For example, car and petrol. The two commodities are called substitutes for each other. In case, when the price of one commodity falls, then the demand for the other commodity also falls. And if the price of the one commodity increases, then the demand for the other commodity also increases. For example, tea and coffee. 4. Advertising Elasticity of Demand It is defined as the responsiveness of the change in demand to the change in advertising or rather the promotional expense is known as the advertising elasticity of demand. It can be expressed as EA is equal to proportionate change in demand divided by proportionate change in advertising expenditure. Numerically, EA is equal to Q2 minus Q1 by A2 plus Q1 by A2 minus A1 by A2 plus A1. Varen, Q1 is equal to original demand, Q2 is equal to new demand, A1 is equal to original advertising outlay, A2 is equal to new advertising outlay. These are some of the important types of elasticity of demand that helps in understanding the criteria of demand for the goods and services and the factors that influence the demand. Now let's look into determinants of elasticity of demand. Apart from the price, there are several other factors that influence the elasticity of demand. They are Number 1. Consumer income the income of the consumer also affects the elasticity of demand and there are generally two income groups, the high income groups and the low income groups. In high income groups, the demand is said to be less elastic as the increase or decrease of the price will not have much effect on the demand whereas the reverse happens in the low income groups. Number 2. Amount of money spent the elasticity of demand for a particular product is determined by the proportion of income spent by the consumer on that product. For example, such as matchbox, a consumer spends very small amount, let's say rupees 2, then even when there is price increase, the demand for these products will not be affected to a great extent. So the demand for these products are said to be inelastic. The reverse is true for the products whereas the consumer spends major proportion of their income. For example, food and clothing. Number 3. Nature of commodity. The elasticity of demand also depends on the nature of the commodity. The commodities can be categorized as luxury, convenience, necessary goods. The demand for the necessities such as food is inelastic as they cannot be postponed. The demand for the comfort goods is like neither elastic nor inelastic. As with the rise and fall of the prices, the demand increases or decreases. The demand for luxury goods is highly elastic as the slightest change in its price affects the demand significantly. But the demand for the prestige goods such as antiques, germs, stones, etc. is said to be inelastic as consumers are ready to buy this at any cost. Number 4. Several Uses of Commodity the elasticity of demand is also affected by the number of users of the commodity. In this, if the commodity is used for a single purpose, then the price will affect the demand for the commodity in that use. But if there are multiple uses for the commodity such as coal, iron, then the price will affect the demand for these commodities in its many uses. Number 5. Whether the demand can be postponed or not. If the demand for the particular commodity cannot be postponed, then it is said to have inelastic demand. For example, wheat. And similarly, the commodities whose demand can be postponed, they are said to have elastic demand. For example, furniture. Number 6. Availability of substitutes. The substitutes are the goods which can be used in the place of other goods. For example, tea and coffee. If the goods have close substitutes, they are said to have elastic demand. Similarly, the goods which have no substitutes are said to have inelastic demand. For example, salt. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.